What's up, Grizzly Gang? I know it's been a while since I've done a video, or at least one that's a vlog type style, so we're gonna try and get back to that now. I'm sorry that it's been so long. Uh, I appreciate those of you who messaged me asking me what was up or why I was uh, not posting as much. Pretty much, I've just been super swamped with these shows. Uh, going out to Georgia for European experience, and then coming back and immediately going back out to Vegas, Nevada for Woost. It's been pretty hectic, as well as trying to edit these videos. These are like hundreds of clips and videos that usually take weeks to get a good edit on, and I'm trying to do it within a few days to put them out as, as quickly as possible, but it's, it's pretty difficult and it's it's very time consuming and at the same time i'm trying to spend time with my family so now i am done with the shows i'm going to be just going back to vlogging so expect three videos a week and lots of great stuff soon to come guys because i've put so many new things on the car and I haven't got a chance to video it so that's going to be coming soon so stay tuned but today it's going to be a simple vlog type thing we're just going to go about my day and um if you want to watch cool if not then i'll see you guys in the next video so just so you guys can get an idea, this is one of the memory cards that I'm going through. And this is this had 87 items on it. And those could be anywhere from like five to 10 minutes long. And then you have all these clips from different memory cards. So there's just like a lot, a lot of stuff that I'm still even downloading. I think I went through like three or four memory cards. So a lot of stuff to go through. And a lot of it's just jumbled around too. Some of it's install stuff, some of it's uh, like shows, like woo, some of it's like even old stuff. I still have clips from like Stance Wars. So I'm really trying to get organized. It's kind of hard for me um, to figure everything out and do it in a timely uh, manner because I'm just like all over the place. I'm, I'm very sporadic and you know, it, it's difficult for me to get organized, but I'm trying and I will get there. So just need a little bit of patience. That's all, that's all guys, so. I appreciate those of you who have stayed around though and who are subscribed and who have the patience to wait for me to upload. I really, really am gonna get to uploading more often, I promise. So as you guys can see, my office is an extreme mess right now. It is not very tidy, but no biggie. Make sure I got everything. Ooh, looking good. Looking good. Always carry the toolbox. So funny story about that toolbox back there is that um, I actually was not gonna bring it with me to Woost in Vegas. And oh my God, I'm so glad that I did because I was having some major issues out there. Nothing like crazy, but like just fucking like boost leaks, pipes coming off. Oh, it was a, uh... It was a bit annoying, but we got it all fixed up. But if I had not had my toolbox out there, it would have been a bad day, a very bad day. So I always like to keep my tools, at least my basic ones in the car. I would probably recommend you guys do it too if you're uh, constantly modding your car. Probably uh, one of the harder things to do in low car. Shit. I see people vlogging all the time in their car. I just don't know how the f they do it, especially if you have a stick shift. This shit is really freaking hard. I'm only doing it because I'm stopped at the light right now. But man, it's almost worse than texting and driving. That shit is dangerous, boy. I love that Surf City because they have free vacuums. So you don't even have to like wash your car or anything or pay. You just pull up next to the vacuum, unhook it, and start vacuuming your car for free. It's dope. Love it. So thank you, Surf City, for that. Appreciate it. to be used to it now you're not it's been a while since i vlogged she gets nervous now around the camera because it's been so long since she's seen you guys so you're like strangers now <laughs> anyways we are now home uh picking up the kiddos because we're gonna go eat something right now grandma's here you ready to get out no are you hungry mm -hmm. all right well we're gonna go eat so you want to come <laughs> get out come on so we're in Old Town Clovis now. We're stopping at a place called what, Juju's? House of Juju's. House of Juju. 
Look at the little one. If you guys don't know, this is my son, Grayson. Oh, oh yeah, you weren't crying at all, ever. That looks guys. really good. That's half for you. Down. No. Who wants some chunks mm -hmm. of tomato? Mm -hmm. I tried yours. It's pretty good. It is? Yeah. Yeah, like oh, really yours good. looks good. Yeah, that good that bread. And I forgot oh, to put in panini bread. bread. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cow goes. Cow goes too? No, cow goes moo. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Dead grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> dead grandma. Did you say dead grandma? Mm -hmm. What the f Alright, continue, continue it. Dead grandma who? Dead grandma, I don't like dead grandma. What the fuck are you talking about? She's definitely gonna be a comedian. <laughs> so we're finished eating now. That was a delicious lunch. I had like a BLMT, bacon, lettuce, something, and tomato. Pretty good. Mozzarella Pretty good. cheese. Mozzarella yeah. cheese. I don't know what we're gonna do now. I guess we just, I guess go edit. Change the diaper. Oh yeah, that's pretty important. That's all you though. But to the house then. Now today is one of those like abnormally beautiful days here in Fresno. There's actually clouds. That's surprising. Now it, it looks almost like a nice place to live right now. It's really, really green. The skies are blue, the clouds are white. <sighs> Something about it, you know? People think California, they think beaches and beautiful greenery and that's not most of California, honestly. Most of it's pretty, pretty freaking ugly. But today, it's nice. Okay, so I have some good news and some bad news. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video like this, so bear with me, but uh, pretty much the first thing I wanna say is uh, I had a great time at European Experience and Woost. Uh, I want to thank you, Paul, very much for the opportunity to come out there and to do the shoot, and it was just an amazing time. Thank you for absolutely everything. Now, for those of you who didn't know and who don't follow me on social media, uh, Paul, actually, from Deutsch Auto Parts, offered me a full-time position to work with him in North Carolina doing YouTube full-time. So this is huge for me, absolutely. It's It's... It's life changing and it's one of those things that it's an opportunity that doesn't come along very often. Um, unfortunately, after thinking about it for about a week and a half now, um, speaking with my wife, seeing what was best for us financially, for the kids, um, it just didn't seem to be a good time for us right now. Um, it is very unfortunate and I wish, I really, really, really wish I could have gotten to work with Paul in North Carolina. but. Sometimes things just don't pan out, and I just wanna say thank you for the opportunity, and you know, it's, it's really unfortunate, but hopefully we can still work together in the future with awesome products and projects. Thank you, Paul. And also, thank you, Will, for the time I spent over there in Woos with you, allowing me to spend time at, with you at your house and showing me around Vegas once again, and having an amazing time at Woos. Woos was outstanding, guys. If you haven't gone, I definitely highly recommend it. It was an amazing show unlike anything I've ever been to before. Really great. Since I've been slacking so much on putting out the videos, this is kind of that video to get me back into it, bring back the vlog type style, and connect with you guys and really like have a one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm gonna walk you through everything that's new on this car right now. The videos will be coming out for very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. First thing though, let's go inside the car. So ignore the mess, sorry about that guys. But this is my new shift knob. So those of you who've been following, you guys knew I had a Black Forest Industries shift knob. And ooh, pretty much I got rid of it because it just um, wasn't as nice as this one. My friend Alan has a 370Z and he showed me that shift knob and I absolutely fell in love with it like 
immediately. It was amazing. It was just really heavy. It's about it's over a pound. It weighs over a pound. The shift knob, and the shifts are buttery smooth. So I'll show you guys how I installed that. It's a bit of a jerry rigging kind of thing um, because. You have to use the adapters that come with it. It's a JDM knob. It is not meant for these cars, as you guys know. So it takes a little bit of working, but once on there, I mean, this thing is, it just literally like puts itself into gear. I don't have to do anything. It's amazing. So that's super cool. Love it. So I recently upgraded to the iPhone 7 so I can get some awesome videos, have a, me a bigger memory card and do all that awesome cinematography stuff. But this little piece right here has a Volkswagen logo on it and it's magnetic. So you just put a little plate on the back of your phone and then boom, just magnets right up there. And then I use my uh, little cord, boom, right up in there. CarPlay works fantastic. Now for the good stuff, which I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for, uh, performance mods. So that's something that uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for and I haven't really done too much on it. Some of you do know that I am JB1 right now or should I say JB4, that's right guys. I actually uh, got a sponsorship from George over at Burger Tuning. He sent me the JB4. We are doing some testing on it right now. I got it all hooked up and installed. I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. And it is so far absolutely amazing. I got the Bluetooth controllability with the app. It's sweet, but check it out. So down in here, you'll see right there, that is actually the Bluetooth connect kit. Let's see if I can pull it out. Lots of wires. There we go. So that's the JB4 Connect Kit. This is the Bluetooth piece. The JB4 actual chip is inside here. Now this is the old JB1 box, so that's why it looks like that. The new ones, the housings are longer. So this is the JB1 to JB4, uh, I guess you call it beta kit. You know, posi tap on there, get all that good stuff, and the cable for the Bluetooth. So this is the Revision 3. Ah, I'll be going in depth, in depth on that. More in the future, but for now, that's that. It's just kind of an overview to show you guys what's going on, what's been uh, pretty much installed. And one of the bigger things is that, um, for those of you who follow social media again, KW had sponsored this car. So that's right, thank you to KW for sponsoring, sh sponsoring the channel and becoming a member of the Grizzly Gang. Check out the coils, I've already installed them and I'm working on the video, guys. So right here, ah, you got some pretty good low on the front. Let's see if I can, yeah, pretty much passes the shoe test. Can't do nothing to that. But yeah, it sits pretty well now, pretty low, especially with the flow design lip on there. It's about four fingers from the ground. And the back looks pretty well tucked in there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am running the um, 18 by 8.5 with an offset of ET35. So, excuse me. So what that means is I'm running also 225, 40 ZR18 on the tires. And that gives me that perfectly flush for the body, the tires, everything. No rubbing, absolutely outstanding. So if you wanna go 235, you're probably gonna have to go with 35s instead of 40s. And I did do the fender mod, which I'll have to show you guys later, but that does um, involve you kind of pulling the fenders and removing the screws that are inside here and bedding them down. I'll also do a video on that later. So like I said, lots of videos coming out very soon, guys. Stay tuned. That literally never gets old. All right, so now we can get back to editing finally. So I actually gonna get some of the footage or the memory card from the drone because we got some pretty thick shots, I think, at Woost. So hopefully they came out all right. This is a little homemade box too I made for this. I bought this case at Big Five. It was for a gun. I just used a pick and pull and kind of cut it all to, to size and it worked out really well. Very, very nice. And for those of you who keep asking what kind of camera gear I use, I'm actually gonna be doing a video very soon that's gonna explain exactly what cameras I have, the type of shots I use them for, the drone, the Ronin, the Osmo, all that good stuff. So that will be coming soon as well. I'm telling you guys, I keep saying it over and over, but lots of good stuff coming. Stay tuned, okay? All right, it's good to see you guys again, man. It's been so long since I've done this vlog stuff. I really miss it. It's, it's fun. It is, I would say it's actually more fun 
than editing for the shows and stuff. Because a lot of the times you go to the show and you don't even get to enjoy the show because you're busy filming it and trying to get the angles and to interview people. And, you know, it has its ups and downs, but I really do miss these kind of like daily vlogs. So expect more. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the hardest part of making these videos is finding a dope beat to go over these songs, and I'll tell you. It's hard to find good beats.